Good morning everybody and welcome back to the farm. What an evening that was. The sinkhole. Well, since I finished recording for the previous vlog, it's become much worse. Um, I did just do a very quick clip at the beginning of this vlog showing you the fire brigade, fire and rescue. Uh, they attempted to pull the tractor out. They actually did manage to get the wind dryer off, but unfortunately, before they could get the tractor out, the sinkhole expanded and the tractor is no more, pretty much. Uh, I'm just going to show you. I, I really don't want to stand too close though because it's expanding all the time. It's really bad. So that is safe, luckily. It's a bit mangled, but there is the tractor. And oh, I can't go too close because it could expand and, well, I'm not going to be prepared to fall down there. So, I don't know what to do, really. I think if I send the drone up, I might be able to fly over and give you a better view. Yeah, so there you go. It's, it's on its side. And it's just going to have to be scrapped, I'd imagine. Might be able to get some spare parts off it, but, yeah, I don't know. I have to take a closer look at it if I ever get it out, but I'm gonna have to pay for somebody with a crane or something to uh, to fish it out of there, and they might not be prepared to go close to it because it is still expanding. And yes, I'm definitely gonna have to have some kind of survey done on the field to see what's actually going on under the surface because, well, clearly, it's quite unstable. So with the exception of banging my head on the windscreen, uh, which wasn't too bad, I did come out of that okay. So pleased that it wasn't deeper when I initially went in with the tractor so yeah I'm gonna try my best to get the surrounding grass collected up and put into the silage pit but I don't know how close I can get how, how close do I dare to go not very is the answer to that so anyway um yes let's just remove the PTO shaft from from the mower here and we'll pull forward so yes I actually do have um, a forage wagon to go and collect from the dealership it's gonna cost me 300 pounds for the day so, if I can try and take my mind off the sinkhole just briefly, that would be good. All I can say is I'm so pleased that the sinkhole hasn't appeared sort of behind the house here. It's actually further away, down the field. So it could be worse, although it's not good. I would say it's almost certain that uh, the sinkhole has been triggered by the storm that we had, Storm Dennis. Uh, naturally, of course, it was called Storm Dennis. Um, yeah, basically, it's just brought devastation. And Dennis had his shed blow down as well. Bad storm. It was a very bad storm. Okay, so here we are. It's all attached. Actually, it's going to pay the £300. And uh, yeah, it's a, a, a very good size for my tractors. Or should I say my tractor, because I only have one. Um, so, the insurance which I kind of have, well, I do have on these tractors, doesn't cover that sort of event. So, if it was damaged from you know crashing into another vehicle, it would be covered. But because it is such a sort of freak accident it's not covered so I'm afraid I have kind of just completely lost that tractor okay so yeah it's all paid for for today so this is it the chrome turbo 3500 with chevron tires now if I can get all that mowed grass and the road up grass into the silage pit today that'd be great it would really help uh, because really I need that that is my money that is how I'm going to survive over the winter. Of course, I'm still being paid for Bob, so that is something at least. But because I'm now going to have to invest in another tractor, it's made things much more difficult. So I don't know what to get. I don't know when to get it. Obviously, at the moment, it's not my priority. But running the farm with just one tractor is going to be more difficult, especially if that was the higher horsepower tractor. All is not lost, though, I suppose, because it does still have a scrap value. Somebody might even want to buy it, as it is. I don't know. If I could get at least £500 for it, that would be something. This was a problem I just really was not looking for. I don't think Dennis even knows this happened, but then again, he's probably busy with his own farm. Okay, so I think we're fairly safe in this area, in the surrounding headland, but how close we can get, I really don't know. 
Oh, great. My tractor's struggling. Really struggling. Oh, Dennis. Dennis has the Massey Ferguson. I hate to have to keep relying on him. But that should get us out of this sticky situation. Hopefully. I've just gone to spend £300 on this. I was hoping it would fit. There we go. Oh, great. Okay, well, we'll have to go and rely on Dennis. I'm quite happy to pay him for the use of his tractor, but he does just keep saying, just take it any time, which is very good of him. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put this in the shed. We'll take the gator. That would be the best thing to do. It does have the potato crate on the back, but that's not really a problem. We can still get around with it. Can the day get any worse? Well, honest answer, yes, it can. At least I have my health. Now, the fire service did a really good job, but there was nothing else they could do. Once the tractor had gone, it was sort of out of their control. They didn't have machinery big enough to pull it out. It is down to me anyway to get it out of there. They've given their advice though, and it's basically, don't go anywhere near it. Oh, oh alright, no win. Well, I've been better. Have you seen my vlog from last week? Uh, no, no, I've not seen the vlog. Oh, well, I've had a bad sinkhole. Is that painful then? What? In the ground. A sinkhole in the ground. Ah. Oh, well, that would explain it. What were you thinking of? Anyway, um, yeah, bad, very bad. My tractor went down it, and, well, I've lost it, basically. So, I know I always do use your tractor, but is it possible to use your tractor for a few days without returning it? Not a problem, Dangwin. Help yourself. Thanks, Dennis. Um, here's a hundred pounds. Oh, thanks very much. You're making me rich, Dagwin. Yeah, sounds about right. I'm getting poorer. Anyway, let's jump into this. I've got to say, it took him a long time to be like this, but he is a very generous person. Uh, when we were at Letton, to begin with, he was really weird. Well, he's pretty weird now, actually, but yeah, he was also unhelpful. Very unhelpful. Near the end, he couldn't really help enough. He saved the animals in the Letton floods. And now he's helping me out with my farm as well. But no, I can't I can't just uh, rely on his tractors. I, I do need to get my own tractor. So I'm going to go hunting for one very soon. I actually need a sprayer as well. I need a, a, a sort of either a self-propeller one, an old one, or one which I can mount on the back of a tractor. So I'm looking into possibilities of that. Keep an eye on Zoombid, currently there's nothing, but yeah, eventually, hopefully there will be something. Right, finally, let's go back to the field and get this grass put into the pit. I also need to compact it, so um, I will probably get Paula to do that, actually. She should be around the farm, looking after Bob. Now I know exactly which tractor I want to have, and it's this one, but obviously it's Dennis's. But I was thinking maybe if I offered him a really good price for it, he might say yes, but then again, it is his tractor, so he's going to need it. It is a good tractor though, it's very good. Reliable, uh, it's in very good condition, low hours, and quite powerful as well. Let's just get that attached, also the PTO, there we go. Um, and we can finally begin. Right then, here we go. Let's get this this grass collected. So the interesting thing is, I think this tractor is a very similar horsepower to the Ford. Uh, I'm guessing it's the torque of it which is different. Uh, must be higher torque or something. Because it really doesn't struggle too much. In fact, it does a very good job. I think it's only about 85 horsepower, and the Ford is 90, so uh, the Ford could probably do with an engine rebuild or something. I think we've lost quite a few horsepower over the years. With this being such a low horsepower tractor, it has still got plenty of power. Now this isn't going to take too long at all to fill each load, it's not a very high capacity forage wagon, um, so there's going to be quite a bit of carting involved, but luckily the pit is very close to here. And it doesn't really matter that we're only going 4 or 5 miles per hour because, after all, it does need to be compacted. It would be good if we can compact on the go after each load.
Okay, so we are getting close to full. It was a very good crop of grass actually. It has uh, done very well. Okay. Almost there. 97%. And we're done. So, let's take this back over to the pit and we'll tip the first load. I'm hoping that my pit is good enough because I did actually show it in the previous vlog um, how it was laid out. It should be fine. It's just... I've got to make sure all the grass stays within the... Uh, the allocated area. Right then, so let's just back up. We should see my markings in a second. Here we are. So that's about the back there somewhere. Let's just jump out. Oh no, I can go a little bit further. But yeah, this is the general idea. We just fill this area here with the grass. And this is why I want it to be compacted as we go really, so we get more in. We don't want great big piles. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get Paula to help out in a minute, um, but here we go, let's get this unloaded. Good, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. The next load we can probably put a little bit further down, then we can go back to here again once this has been leveled off. Uh, I don't have a leveler, but we shouldn't really need one, just keep driving over it. Um, so in fact I've gone find her, she needs to uh, use the Ford I would say, well there's nothing else, I, don't, I can't really imagine doing it with the Gator. Right she's on the way, she's just finishing off feeding Bob, take the tractor over here ready. Now this field here is going to have to be cultivated in the next few weeks, it will be next few weeks and then also we need to drill this as well. There we go, so she's in the Ford, busy compacting it down. Hopefully we're going to be able to get quite a lot in here, because uh, judging by that first load, it is going to probably fill this entire area. It's not really a big enough area, but we can make do with what we've got. Okay, let's get back into the Matty Ferguson, and we will get the next load. In fact, we'll get many more loads. Okay, so we have just a very small amount left to pick up. As you can see, Paul's doing a very good job compacting it. It is quite tough for that little Ford to get over the mounds, which I'm dumping. But um, no, I, I can't really do this piece here. Uh, we're going to have to go for this piece over here. And then there are a few pieces over there. So I'm almost finished. The Ford is doing a good job, though, despite it you know, needing an engine service. <laughs> engine rebuild, I would say. Um, but anyway. It's done a few hours, it has done a lot of hours. I'm going to go for this piece down here. Obviously I can't go for that piece over there, I just don't know what the ground is like underneath. But I've been all around it over here and there's been no issues, but then again I actually mowed the grass over the sinkhole in the previous vlog, so yeah, it just goes to show how uh, just the slightest bit of extra weight can allow the ground to give way. So I really don't know what to do, obviously at some point we're going to have to get a crane in, we're going to have to crane the tractor out of there, because we can't go anywhere near the edge, the crane's going to have to be some distance from the sinkhole itself. So it's going to be challenging, I don't know exactly how we're going to do it, but I can't leave it down there and the sinkhole is going to have to be filled in. I don't know how much to actually pick up down here, do I dare go any closer? thing is, this piece here is quite a distance from the hole itself, but, um, yeah, anyway. 
It's a nerve-wracking experience. Okay, I think that'll do. <laughs> there we go. Right, it's a bit of extra. Looks like we can get a piece over there as well. Good. So that is the field finished, and it must be almost finished uh, being compacted, hopefully. Just got this final piece to go in. I think the best method is what I did before. If I drive to this end and then drive over it, it does help out quite a bit, because like I said, the Ford tractor isn't very large, and it does struggle a bit. Okay, this, this tractor struggles quite a bit too, especially when it's got this on the back. So there we go. Paul is just going to finish off. Um, but no, she's done a very good job. So as soon as that is completely compacted, we'll get the covers over and we'll just get any kind of wheels over or anything else that could help weigh down the sheet. Um, because yeah, these are perfect. These are, these are really good for covering it over. So I'll just let it go over it a few more times and then I think that'll be good enough. After all, she must be pretty bored of just going backwards and forwards for the last hour and a half. <laughs> she actually hasn't taken a break at all. Um, yeah, so I'll finish off. I'll get it all covered over, put the tyres over it. And uh, yeah, that will be our winter supply. Money supply, really, because it's not for our animals. I'm going to sell all of this as just fermented silage to local farmers. Okay, so we've got the sheet. Let's throw it over. All done. Because what we really don't want is air getting in. We don't want uh, rainwater getting in. We definitely don't want the sheet to blow away. That would be terrible. So yeah, I'm going to continue here. And I will see you in a second when it's all done. Well there it is, obviously it's not glamorous, it's it's very low cost, but it should work because uh, it has all been compacted, it's been covered, it's been uh, weighted down, so with a bit of luck everything is going to be fine. As for the sinkhole, I don't know if everything is going to be fine, so I've got loads of stuff to sort out before I do another vlog. Um, I'm going to hopefully get a survey done fairly quickly and then get a crane in. I want to get the craning, so I want, I'm desperate to get that tractor out of there. The dealership can't even have their windrow back because it's in such a precarious position. It's also facing the wrong way for a tractor to attach to it. So anyway, there we go. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.